Hi, this is Bradley, the Options Oracle, and this is part of our How To series. Uh, today I'm going to explain calls and puts because there's a lot of confusion out there and what those are. Now I'm going to explain them from the point of a seller instead of the point of a buyer. But first I want to show you why we do options instead of playing with the stocks. Now a stock can only do three things. It can either go up, it can go down, or it can go sideways. When I sell options, I can make money on either on any two of those. Now here's a stock that uh, we did in September, but we're, we're looking at the November strike prices, so you can see the characteristics of the stock. Up here, 42 days expiration. This is the November 2011, 42 days expiration these numbers down the center are what we call the strike price so and here's what the stock is selling for it's selling for seventeen dollars and twenty two cents so if I sell the ten dollar put right here if you look to the right you can see the time value what I'm basically saying is I promise I will buy this stock that's currently trading for seventeen dollars twenty two cents but I, I promise I'll buy it for ten dollars if you pay me a dollar forty a share now when you ask why people do that it's for insurance you don't try to get into the other guy's head he may be doing an, a, a binary option or something you don't care you just know here's what it's selling for so and I look for stocks that have this is the put side on the right the call side is on the left so I look for stocks that seven steps out of the money I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the call side, and I see I can still make some good money. If you look down there, the time value on the left is $1.61. Okay, so my rowboat strategy is I'm going to sell the put until it gets put to me, until somebody forces me to buy it, and I'm going to do it on a stock that if you put it to me at 10, I'm going to sell it to you seven steps out of the money. Now, I'm showing you on the 24, which is seven steps out of the money right now but I'd be selling to I would sell the seventeen dollar call so even though I paid ten dollars for it I'll sell the seventeen dollar call and I'll collect a dollar sixty one now I just use some terms that I didn't explain in at and out of the money if you look and you see the yellow part that's what we call in the money seventeen twenty two would be at the money and of course these go in dollar increments so it's not going to match up exactly correctly and then we have what we call out of the money so what do I mean by that well I promised to buy the stock off of him at ten dollars but he's not going to do that when the stock's selling at seventeen dollars and twenty two cents so I'm seven dollars and twenty two cents out of the money on the call side going down seven steps to twenty four I could buy the stock today and sell the the twenty four dollar call and get a dollar sixty one out of it and so I'd make money on the I bought I paid seventeen I'm selling it for twenty four plus I'm making a dollar sixty one makes it hard to lose money now when we sell the put we make money if the stock goes up or if the stock goes sideways and the stock can even drop a lot and we still make money so my system is very safe and the same thing on the call side once we have the stock because you never sell a naked call. Naked means you don't own the stock. I paid 17 for it. I'm selling the 24, so I'm guaranteed uh, three seven dollars plus the dollar 61. So we sell the put till it gets put to us. Then we sell the call till it gets called away. Because the call is just a promise. Say I promise I'll sell it to you at 24 dollars. And that's all there is to it. Uh, post some comments if you got some questions. And this is Brad Lee, the Option Oracle, signing out.